If you're anything like me, you probably find yourself checking out and frequenting the local rack stores to see what kind of fragrances are available for a really good price. I know at least for me, there's such a thrill whenever I find a really good deal and there's just something about finding that hidden gem bargain that really just makes you pat yourself on the back like, I found this, I found the hidden treasure. But today we're gonna be covering seven fragrances that are ultra affordable, meaning under $20. I know, under 20 bucks, seven of them. Let's check them out. What's going on everyone? It's Eli with Common Sense and thank you so much for joining me. I'm glad that you're here checking out this video. So I actually just did a video not too long ago. You can check it out up here if you want to, but it covered 10 Middle Eastern fragrance clones that were from the rack stores. So that includes Milestone Perfumes and a lot of the other sub kind of brands under that umbrella. But I purposely didn't include any Middle Eastern fragrance clones because you can check out that video right here. And these ones are really nice, affordable. Some of them are designer. Some of them are brands that I really didn't know that existed beforehand. These are some really good ones. So let's check out the first one. So some of you may be a little disappointed, but the first fragrance that I want to recommend is Davidoff Cool Water. There is something about this DNA that smells absolutely incredible. It reminds me a lot of Creed's Green Irish Tweed. And there was a little bit of controversy with the actual Green Irish Tweed because the perfumer who created that one actually took this DNA. Way back in the day, the nose behind the Creed fragrances, Olivier Creed, actually coerced, supposedly, coerced the nose behind the Davidoff Cool water Pierre Bourdon into letting him take credit for this fragrance DNA. So this existed before Green Irish Tweed. So if you've ever smelled this and also the real Green Irish Tweed, you will definitely see a similarity between the two. While this one is a little bit more synthetic, it definitely does capture that nice green aquatic DNA. And there's just something timeless and classic about this one. And for the price, this one has always been an amazing cheapie. It's cheap as it is. You can find it often for under $20. And I don't know, this just always puts me at and I've always been collecting bottles and this is actually my brother's signature fragrance and so it's just something really nice relaxing from the lavender and you also have that refreshing bergamot you have a little bit of some floral notes from the tobacco but it also definitely smells extremely extremely relaxing but if you want something very fresh that smells like freshly clean linens with a nice aquatic base to it check this one out and honestly if you don't want to spend 20 or 30 dollars check out this fragrance too this is an oldie but it's a classic this this one is Coty's Aspen, so it smells very similar. It's not going to be the most high quality smelling fragrance and it's not gonna last an eternity, but it definitely smells very close. It's got that green Irish tweed DNA and it smells very, very close for very cheap. I wanna say you can get this for $12 for a four ounce bottle. You can get smaller ones for even cheaper, but if you want something even cheaper and more affordable than the already affordable cool water, let's drop that. <laughs> Check out Aspen by Coty. Now, if you've ever been to TJ Maxx or Marshalls or any of these rack stores, you'll probably see these tiny little fragrances. These are the true fragrance fragrances. They're one ounce bottles and they have some really cool ones. One of my personal favorites is this one, Oud Sahara. So this one smells very close to Tom Ford's Oud Wood. So this fragrance DNA is very, very classy. It's very mature and it's one of my favorite twists on Oud because it's very easy to wear. It's very easy going and it just smells very woody and it kind of just reminds me of a wet, rainy, stormy day. And so I think this definitely captures some of that magic and does it in a slightly different way. You have a little bit more of a sweet gourmand approach to that and it definitely ramps up some of the cardamom that's found in the oud wood, but I feel like it adds just a tiny, tiny little bit of tonka and a little bit of fruitiness. So if you like the oud wood DNA and you want something that's a little bit more gourmand, maybe a little bit more feminine leaning, it's still very unisex, but if you want something that smells like a slightly more scrumptious version of the oud wood, check this one out. I feel like they also dial up the vanilla a little bit and maybe have some patchouli in there that just kind of make it smell a little bit more sweet. This one you can find $13 and it is a one ounce, but it is an eau de parfum. So it's gonna get you about six or so hours of performance. And I feel like if you go crazy with the sprays, you could definitely get a little bit longer. But for me, I get about six hours. And that one is Oud Sahara by True Fragrance. 
This next one on the list is going to be a really nice budget blue fragrance that's similar to Blue de Chanel. This one is from Sergio Tacchini and this one is Pacific Blue. So despite the bottle looking like the Versace Eros bottles, this really isn't anything like that. This is more something akin to Blue de Chanel Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum. So it's kind of a mix between of a lot of those blue, nice, sweet fragrances that are definitely very, very calming to smell in. I just like this one a lot. This isn't going to be the most realistic smelling one. It's gonna be a little bit synthetic, a little bit scratchy, but I actually don't mind the way that this smells because I like slightly weird fragrances. So imagine the Bleu de Chanel family combined with Davidoff's Cool Water. So you have that really nice aromatic, aquatic, slightly medicinal green aquatic vibes from the Cool Water mixed with that really nice, creamy, silky, smooth, blue aquatic DNA of the Bleu de Chanel. And honestly, for $13, I don't think you can really go wrong. Sadly, this one only lasts about four to five hours on my skin and it really does die down kind of quickly. But if you want something as a quick, easy to grab gym fragrance to keep in your car or in your gym bag, this one, I think you're really gonna like it. It's blue, it's sporty, and it's just what I like in a fragrance DNA. Especially if you're younger, I think you're gonna like this one too. And that one is Sergio Tacchini's Pacific Blue. Next up is another blue fragrance, but I feel like this one is definitely unique. This one is Antonio Banderas' Radiant Seduction. I was actually on the hunt for Antonio Banderas' Blue Seduction, which I think is supposed to be a Versace Eau Fraiche twist. And this one, I actually picked it up and I love, love, love how this one smells. This one's got some really juicy lime. It's got some mandarin and grapefruit up top, but it also has a little bit of tea and some mint in here. So it's definitely gonna smell very bright, very energetic, but it's gonna smell creamy and a little bit woody. I also got a little bit of sandalwood in there and a little bit of a melon vibe too, I feel like. So it definitely smells a little bit tropical, but it's definitely an easy to wear fragrance. It's a little bit fruity, but it's going to be not too in your face. It's just gonna be something that definitely smells like a fresh, clean shower. So kind of like a warm, fresh shower gel. So there's a lot of people wondering what this is kind of inspired by. And people have even said that it's similar to Gucci's Pour Homme 2, which is a highly sought after discontinued fragrance that is definitely going up in the price. But if you want something that is sort of a twist on that just a little bit. I think this one is definitely going to be a good pick. You can also find this one for about $15 or so at your local rack stores. And I've actually been seeing these popping up a lot at Burlington. So definitely keep an eye out when you're over there. But this is a really good blue fragrance. It smells a little bit fruity, a little bit soapy, and definitely seductive, like the name says. That one is Antonio Banderas, Radiant Seduction. This next fragrance we're looking at is from an underrated fragrance house. It's really affordable. And if you can find it at your rack stores, you can find it for about $17 like I found this one. This is Joseph Aboud's Bespoke. Now Bespoke definitely reminds me of a lot of men's designer fragrances that are out there. This one reminds me a lot of Givenchy's Gentleman Boise. So it's got that really nice, boozy, sweet, woodsy, kind of Tonka heavy fragrance DNA. And this one actually has a little bit of mandarin, rosemary, and some nutmeg as well as some rum in there. So it's definitely going to be boozy. It's gonna smell very mature. It's gonna be a perfect date night fragrance and it just reminds me of a couple different ones. It reminds me of that Givenchy. It reminds me a little bit of Armani Code Profumo and with a little bit of an inspiration from Versace Eros. So it smells very sweet. It's gourmand but with a nice masculine boozy twist to it. There's also a ton of leather in this one so it's going to make for a really nice kind of cooler weather date night fragrance and I actually really really love wearing this one. I actually found myself going somewhere and I remembered I didn't actually wear any fragrance for the day and I was thinking man I just need something to wear to this family event that I'm going to. And so I bought this one, I blind bought it, I tried it and I was blown away by how good it smelled. Yeah, very vanilla, very boozy and it's almost a slightly bit nutty. So it reminds me a little bit of Gentleman Boise, but this one is fantastic. And for 17 bucks, I can't complain. And that one is Joseph Aboud's Bespoke. Now this next fragrance is one of my favorites. It's actually in my top three English laundry fragrances. So we have Riviera, we have Crown, and then this fragrance is my top three. I might actually do a video in the future. I do plan on doing it where I compare some of my favorite English laundry fragrances. This one is Tahitian Waters. Now this is a wonderful alternative to Creed's Virgin Island Water. And it also smells a little bit similar to Tommy Bahama's St. Kitts, but it smells way more coconut heavy and it definitely smells 
feels a little bit more gourmand. So this one I love wearing whenever I go on a vacation. It just reminds me of waking up in a rich hotel. You smell all the fruits, you have the lime, you have some coconut. Kind of reminds me of just like a suntan lotion or a sunscreen. You put it on and you just smell all the fresh fruit and just everything clean around you. That's exactly what I think of when I smell this. Just a really rich tropical hotel. You definitely have some waxy florals from the jasmine and you also have some alang alang but it also has a really nice vanillic gourmand quality especially from the brown sugar accord that they have in this and it just smells incredible so whether you're a guy a gal or anybody who wants to smell very creamy very sweet a little bit fruity but just like a really nice fun vacation i think you're really really gonna like this one i can't get over how rich this stuff smells and that one is english laundry's tahitian waters I know this is definitely a fingerprint magnet. That looks disgusting, <laughs> but it smells good. This last one definitely caught me by surprise. So when I first picked this one up, I thought it was just gonna be another guest fragrance. I thought, eh, maybe this one's just gonna be a nice fresh blue fragrance that I could put on for a couple hours and just kind of have it die off in the summer heat. But oh no, this one is so much better. This is Guess 1981 Indigo for Men. So there is a women's version of this one. I haven't smelled that one, but I think this one is just fantastic for the price. To me, this smells like a beautiful riverbed rushing over river rock and you also have a little bit of an inky paper accord. So there's a lot of things that can cause that. I think it's the freshness from the fig, you have the coconut and also the iris. So that trifecta is just absolutely magical here. And there is a bit of an aromatherapeutic quality to this because it also has some sage, it's got lavender and some musks in there. So it's gonna be very tranquil. It's gonna smell very natural. And I think the addition of the coconut and the fig just really, really make this a unique DNA. Now that I'm looking for I can definitely smell the coconut, but when I originally smelled this, I thought it just smelled extremely unique and I wasn't quite sure what made it smell so wet and just really, really creamy. And of course it's that coconut and the fig, but really this stuff just excels in the high heat and you can really grab this whenever you want and it will definitely get you some compliments or at least make you feel expensive. If somebody put this juice into a very expensive niche fragrance bottle, that presentation, and you would tell me that it's $200, I wouldn't bat an eye. I would definitely pay that for this, especially if it lasted maybe a little bit longer, but, but price-wise, I never would have guessed that this was a $15 fragrance. So if you wanna smell truly unique and you want that nice creamy riverbed DNA, I think you should definitely check this one out. And that one is Guess 1981 Indigo for Men. So there we have it, seven fragrances that are ultra affordable, under $20. These are going to be stunners, especially for this spring and summer season. And all of these, if you find them out and about for under that $20, I think these are definitely worth blind buying, especially the ones towards the end because those are more towards my favorite. But if I really, really had to make a suggestion, I'd go with Tahitian Waters or definitely the Guess 1981 Indigo for men. That does it, my friends. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any amazing cheapies for under that $20 mark because I love sharing these really inexpensive fragrance finds and I love talking about fragrances with y'all. So let me know in the comments some of your favorites. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week. I've been Eli with Common Sense and until the next time, bye-bye. Also, also, if you layer these two fragrances, it's a game changer. Just letting you know.